this week. Thank you. A couple of the old flyers had the privilege to go and hear Captain Richard Champion to Prospegni, who was here in Perth promoting his book Fly. That's the one. You, you might remember that in 2010 that he flew a Qantas flight called QF32 out of Singapore, originated in London and was headed for Sydney when there was a catastrophic engine failure, and specifically an oil spill that led to a fuel fire. And I want to make some comparisons between that flight and the flight called the Miracle on the Hudson. And first, some statistics. The Miracle on the Hudson was US Airways Flight 1549. It's call sign Cactus 1549 out of LaGuardia. That was in 2009, so a year earlier than QF32. Cactus 1549 was an Airbus A320-214 flown by Captain Simon Berger and Jeffrey Skiles. And I've actually heard shaking the hand of Jeffrey Skiles. Pleasant young fellow, 155 people on board. Three minutes after takeoff, there was bird strike, multiple bird strikes. The entire flight lasted just seven minutes. And yet for all of the strife, only five people sustained injuries. So a lot happened within that seven minutes with little time for contemplation and for planning. Both pilots have been on the lecture circuit and Sullenberger wrote, highest duty my search for what really matters flight qf32 an airbus a380 842 christened nancy bird walton as i said en route from london to sydney stopping at Changi. piloted by richard d chris begney co-pilot matt hicks second officer mark johnson senior czech captains harry wubin and david evans within that crew there's 71,000 hours and said to be the most experienced a380 crew possible to have in a cockpit. So the two check captains were there to check that uh, Richard flew correctly and arrived safely in Sydney. As a side, because he didn't reach Sydney, he didn't get the check captain's tick of approval. And I thought that was the whole story, but Richard filled me in. He said, Stephen, you're talking through your ear hole. Nothing to do with that at all. Because when the emergency happened, we co-opted all the members on the, in the cockpit to the problem. So those check captains became part of the crew, therefore they couldn't check me off. Was he lucky or not lucky? <laughs> so four minutes after takeoff, number two engines suffered an oil leak, fired, and degraded performance from one and four engines. They say there was over 500 pieces of shrapnel ejected at immense velocity from that engine and how it didn't enter the cabin causing depressurization or injuring people is a miracle. There was nearly two hours in the air and two hours on the ground to work through more than 100 error messages. The aircraft landed safely after 105 minutes in the air, so 15 times longer in the air than Cactus 1549 and plenty of time for contemplation and considered action. One of the actions was, and this is where Richard said, everyone had to get involved in flying that aircraft. He said, I wanted to gain altitude, that was something like 7,000 feet. He said, if all the engines went out, then we were going to have a bumpy landing. So he wanted to gain height and do what's called an Armstrong spiral, or engines out. So it was going to be a glide landing into Singapore. But all the, the other four pilots said, God no, the aircraft is stable, we're flying level and true, don't disturb it, just keep doing what you're doing. So 440 passengers and 29 crew suffered nil injuries. And that's been cited as an example of the best crew resource management you can have. And his message was simple, don't concentrate on what is broken, concentrate on what is working. And he lectures uh, extensively now, still works for Qantas, fantastic ambassador for Qantas, and has written QF32, which he calls the what book, what happened, and fly, which he calls the why. So that's full of philosophy for life, how to make the best of bad situations. Interesting, eh?